Now, WGEL News 8's Weather on the 8s with meteorologist Christine Ferreira. Good morning. It is 618 and quiet weather will continue here locally in the Susquehanna Valley. We expect sunny skies today and tomorrow with some clouds coming in tomorrow evening. That's all ahead of a cold front on Saturday that'll bring in a chance of showers. And behind that front Sunday and early next week, we're looking at a stretch of 60 degree weather. So certainly a fall blast, one of our coolest so far this season. News 8 Storm Team forecast today, sunny skies, mild. It's going to be a comfy one. We start out cool, but we'll get into the 70s by the afternoon. Tonight, mostly clear, some patchy fog redeveloping. It'll be cool overnight lows, 40s to low 50s. And tomorrow, mostly sunny, then increasing afternoon and evening clouds. Still a dry day, a pleasant day with temperatures topping out about 72 degrees. Live in Lancaster right now, we have 52. You can see on the horizon a little fog out there. So we do have patchy, dense fog or some low clouds forming up, but they should be gone shortly as high pressure goes to work on those clouds. Current temperatures, 48 in Chambersburg, the same in Carlisle. We have a cool 45 in Lebanon. Sealands Grove, you've been in and out of that dense fog this morning at 47, and this has, we have the same temperature in York. Live on Super Doppler 8, Quiet here, high pressure causing sinking air, suppressing the clouds for us. So aside from some fog this morning, we should be enjoying wall-to-wall -wall sunshine this afternoon. Out to the west, that's our next front. That's our next weather system. That's the one that will bring us a chance of showers on Saturday. So let's time it out. This morning, some low clouds, fog, giving way to mostly sunny skies. As we head into tonight, that fog and low cloudiness will come back for us. Looks like it redevelops here early tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, mostly sunny to partly sunny skies, mix of clouds and sunshine. Still a dry, pleasant day with those highs in the lower 70s. Here comes the cold front. Saturday, we see mainly cloudy skies, some scattered showers or light rain at times. And as that front passes, we clear it out for the second half of the weekend and cool things down. I think 60s, even mid 60s, could be our highs for several days. Hurricane Matthew, right now a Category 3 storm, very strong, 3, almost a 4 in fact. Winds of 125 miles per hour, and it's just south of Nassau right now in the Bahamas. It will continue toward the Florida coast this uh, evening and be right off the central Florida coast by Friday afternoon, Friday morning. Now watch what it does. It kind of hugs the coastline here from Florida to Georgia to South Carolina, even the southern half of uh, North Carolina before heading out to sea. And at that time, it'll be weakening into a Category 1 storm eventually a tropical storm. Now this thing could actually come back across Florida the next week. That remains to be seen, but it should be a lot weaker. Hurricane Matthew impacts in the southeast. Here we go. Look at this. We have rainfall four to eight inches with isolated rainfall to 12 inches. Storm surge from the central Florida coast to the border of Georgia and South Carolina, six to nine feet. Hurricane force winds will be reaching the southern Florida coast tonight. So conditions deteriorating fast there as we head into the evening and overnight hours. Here's the extended forecast for us. A much different story. Calm weather, cool weather, comfortable weather into next week. We do get that nice stretch of fall temperatures in the 60s for highs and 40s and 50s for lows. I thought yesterday was beautiful and more of the same today and tomorrow. Yeah. It's almost a repeat performance three days in a row. 72 right. and sunny. Mm -hmm. That's pretty so good. Enjoy yeah. it. All right. All right. Hey, thank you very much, Christine. Thank you. It's good.